This is the Mariah Report. News, pop culture, and all things Mariah Carey. Hey everyone, it's another episode of the Mariah Report. I'm Martin Burgess. And I'm Dan Enriquez. So Mariah has emerged from the cave and speaking to us. Yes, week. exactly. We have information we've heard from Mariah. Things are and happening. Seen. And we've seen I from her it. too. We've got a new Twitter video that we have to talk about. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We got visuals on her. We got visuals. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Stuff is starting to happen now. Exactly. Because I think it's all like everything's uh, revolving around the Songwriter Hall of Fame, which is next week. But she did a Twitter space. We got her talking about the NFTs. We're going to update everybody on what's going on there um we'll also um talk a little bit about that we did a news flash on it earlier in the week but mariah being sued for um you know all that nonsense we'll catch you up on that and there's other little tidbits so we're here we're talking and we got things Yes, we do. Um, Also, if you're new here to the Mariah Report, or if you haven't done so, please hit follow on your podcast app so you get new episode alerts. That also helps the show grow, and then it it recommends it to other people as well who like Mariah, and they can join in the fun, and that really helps us out, helps everybody out. That's right. That's right. And you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are over there on the YouTube giving visuals now. Yes. So don't forget, you can do that as well. Yes, you can. Okay, so let's get into what's been going on. So you may have noticed we're still doing a um, bi-coastal situation. There's only a couple more weeks of this happening and then back to our regular schedule. I'll be back in LA soon, so we can yes. get back to our butterfly tea. Our, what's, what do we call it behind you? Our, our fake faux butterfly lounge? Yes, yes, the, <laughs> the Mariah Report Lounge. <laughs> the, yes, that's what it is. <laughs> that's what it is. Um, what, what's been keeping you busy over there in uh, the New York Cité? Been busy working. However, I took some time out to have some fun last night, and I finally went oh. to see A Strange Loop by friend to the show, Michael Jackson. Yes, over there on Broadway. Over on Broadway. On Broadway. Last time it came was uh, in the theater, it was off-Broadway, but now it's officially on Broadway, right in the thick of things. The star of the show right now. It's been with the, the lights and most- everything. Most nominated um, Tony Award show this season. So it's doing well. I highly recommend it. It was so good, so different. All the music was amazing. The story is great. Um, the cast is amazing. It, it was. I just had a great time. It, it, yeah, I, I really, really am jealous because I really wish I could have gone and seen this because this is just big. And, you know, you do, you do not get a lot of sort of independent queer black stories on broadway Mm -hmm. you know Mm -hmm. what you normally get is going to be your chicago's your cats your this and that's all of that kind of stuff so i'm really really happy and so uh proud of this moment for michael r jackson i know it's such a big deal the the production was amazing you can tell like people have um invested in it and believed in the story and believed in him and really made the dream come true for him so it was just really inspiring to see it come to full fruition and just experience it finally after all these years. I know. And if you cannot get to Broadway, um, you can also go stream the original Broadway cast recording on your whatever favorite streaming service. Cause that's what I'm going to be doing. Cause wherever you get your Mariah, just yeah. Wherever (laughs) you get the Mariah, you can get the strange loop. Check it out. (laughs) Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Please do Um, But you know what? It's, it's doing so well right now. I imagine it will probably at some point go on a national tour. So you might be able oh, to check it out over there in LA. I hope so. I absolutely yeah, I hope would, so. I would go with you. This Maybe we'll take a group of lambs. We'll go together. Because yes. I will totally see I'd it again. Down. I would be down. I'd be down. I'm all for the support. And I want to see more shows. Because here in LA, it's a very different sort of theater scene. Mm-hmm. You have like a lot of small things. But not like you're not going to see like your typical Broadway or things like that. It's all like touring companies that come and do it. So you might get like one or two shows in the city at a time, like Mm -hmm. off, you know, the touring, the Broadway touring thing. So like, you know, we just had Hamilton here and Mm -hmm. I don't know what's playing now, but like, you know, they'll do like their short little stays or, you know, residencies, but that's all you get. And I was like, Mm -hmm. I wish I was 
back in New York seeing more shows because I did not do enough of that back when I was living there. Mm. Well, here's why I enjoyed it so much because I don't love a Broadway show. Like whenever I see one, I'm like, oh, it was cute. But then like two songs in, I'm checking the playbook. How many songs are left? Get me, get me out of here. <laughs> this one, I wasn't doing that. I didn't even look at the playbill. I was just so in, in, um, enveloped in the show that I was, I was loving every minute of it. It was so good. Well, that well, that just lets you know that you need to see more of the sort of smaller productions or independently produced things. These, yes. you know, these regular, you know, wickeds and things like that are just not your, they're not your bag. Mm-hmm. It's true. And that's right. And we love it. So definitely support a strange loop. Get into it. It's Pride Month. It's a festive moment. That's right. It sure is. Now, you know, here in LA, we... I, I didn't know that they do this, but this is how they do it. Like every little sort of section of Los Angeles has their own pride, mm-hmm. which is very strange to me because last weekend I thought that was pride, but that right. was just WeHo pride. <laughs> right. <laughs> now this upcoming weekend, they have like Hollywood pride. And I'm like, girl, that's too many prides. I mean, I'm all down for the prides, but like, WeHo and Hollywood are literally like two miles away from each other. It's mm-hmm. just too much in too much <laughs> close of a vicinity. Um, but I, of course, I'll be partaking and seeing and everything like that because it's, you know, fun. Well, you have to go check out if there's Mariah merch in the streets. What are the sales like? Well, exactly. Well, now here's the thing. When I went over to the WeHo Pride, girl, I was seeing all the Mariah t-shirts. Oh, you were? I, oh, Which ones? Yes. Rainbow. Oh, all of oh, good ones, good ones, girl. First of all, I was almost gonna wear my fantasy one, the one that was just um, put out. But then I was like, you no, know, let me get, let me give something more, like you know, every. I don't want to be too much, um, even though Pride is the time to be too much. But wait, the like, fantasy just... one is like the most low key of the whole group. I know. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about too much? I know. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, so of course, five minutes after walking into the, the WeHo area, of course, I see all, all the t-shirts and things. So the first one I saw was, I think it was like the rainbow one from maybe three years ago. It was like the black t-shirt with, mm. the, with uh, her laying on the bed. Okay. Yes. And it said pride. So it was that one. I saw the regular rainbow ones. Yeah. I saw, I saw a bunch of the regular rainbow ones. I don't think I saw any from this current batch of merchandise right i think they were all from like last year because they were just the regular ones and then i saw a caution t-shirt too i was like caution t-shirt the lambs are out honey the lambs are out which caution t-shirt was that it just it just said the the it had the the you know the pink strip Uh, and it said caution interesting yes is that even an official one it maybe it wasn't even mariah merch (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> maybe, they, it was, maybe it was something completely different. I was like, yep, that's a lamb. And it's like a totally different meaning. I have no idea. <laughs> no, was it pink? Yeah. The pink tape? No, there, that was a t-shirt, I remember. Yeah. It just, it was simple. Mm-hmm. I remember. Okay, I, cute. Well, either way, I was like, you're a lamb, bitch. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Well, you could have wore your fantasy shirt. I think it would have fit right in. Well, maybe I will. This, this weekend. weekend at the Hollywood. Exactly. See, that's why you need the multiple prides, so you can have multiple looks. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. So I, I got all my outfits planned now, girl. Uh, well, okay. Well, speaking of pride-related uh, things, so you know, in New York City, there's our favorite bar that is very Mariah friendly, and they always play Mariah videos. And you know, we've done our live show there, Rise Bar, here in New York. Oh yes, yes. Um, and we keep talking about um, they did a renovation during the pandemic, and we've been talking about going to like, what does it look like? So I finally went this weekend. Tell me everything. To check it out. Okay, it's a cute little renovation. So they just like knocked out a wall and took out the restaurant and like, you know, uh, renovated the restaurant next door. It's a bit more sunny. There's more glass in there. So more natural light comes in. But, and someone told me this um, a few weeks ago, it's not so Mariah friendly anymore. Oh, no. Didn't get a single Mariah track happening. But I'm analyzing the situation. I'm looking at all the new girls they're playing. So all the new girls are getting played there. They're playing Beyonce. Um, like they didn't play any Whitney. They didn't play any of the older divas. Um, like they usually play um, maybe a Patti LaBelle moment or mm-hmm, something mm-hmm. like that. Not really any Madonna. Um, but I was thinking, do you know what would have been what would be popping off right now is if we had a big energy video. Uh, exactly. For the clubs. That's what's missing. Yes. 
for the video bars. Yes. You know, the, the ones that have all the screens and whatnot. Because they did play Big Energy mixed into some other song I never heard of. And it was oh, kind of really? good. Yes. But I was like, where's the Mariah video for this? Oh, my goodness. Missed opportunities are happening. That is a missed opportunity, but at least they're playing Big Energy. Maybe not the Mariah remix, but, you know, because here's the thing. The songs are so similar that, like, if you hear the regular version or the Mariah version, you probably think it's the same song or something. I don't know what the general public thinks, but right, it's good that it's being played. But it should be the Mariah version. Should be the Mariah version. That's what I'm should saying. Be. Yes, yes, absolutely. But we'll take it but, being played. But, but here's what I was thinking. Mariah's just not serving any goods lately mm. for us, for the video bars. She's not. Where are I mean, goods? I know we have the iconic videos and everything like that and all that kind of good stuff, but yeah. But what I'm getting think. worried about, we're approaching the point where they're just played out now, that the people who do play them are like, let's do something else. Oh, right, right, right. Do you know what I mean? We need more moments. Girl, we're always down for more moments. I know. Definitely. But I will say, you know, because we've been talking for the past few weeks, I don't think we're going to get a big energy Mariah video. I don't think it's happening. I think well, that I, shit has sailed. I think it's sailed. A lot of releasing other videos now of yeah. other singles. I think it's, we've moved on. And we've moved on. Unfortunately. Well, what can we do? I don't know. We, nothing. We Where's this vault? Where'd the vault go? <laughs> she's like shoving things back in there. Now that she cleaned it out, she's like, oh, let's put the new things in the vault. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Well, we'll see. Maybe, you know, um, we'll get something soon from Mariah because we'll talk about it a little later, but she was on the um, Twitter space talking about the NFTs. And she did say that she was in the studio. I mean, I feel like she's always in the studio, but she's not giving us anything. So it's like, girl, what are we in the studio doing? Exactly. Like, where's the stuff going? Where is it going? What's happening? What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Where are we at? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know either. Um, okay. So uh, like I said a little earlier, we did a news flash earlier in the week about this lawsuit with Mariah. Yes. Now, um, if you didn't hear it, go back, listen to it. But basically it's nonsense. All of it's nonsense. And um, I was uh, on the social medias Mm -hmm. seeing what everybody was thinking about what they think about this lawsuit because it made all the headlines everywhere. Mm -hmm. All the big papers were picking it up. Yes. Like people around the world. Around the world. Headlines everywhere. Yeah. But none of the headlines were explaining that it's not a, a lawsuit um, for, you know, lyrics or melody. It's mm -hmm. just a, a, a song title lawsuit, mm -hmm. which is basically ridiculous. Um, but I was on the social medias flipping through things and there was a very good, I'll retweet it on our main page, but there was a very good thread that a gentleman or somebody, woman, I'm not sure, I don't know who they were. They obtained the actual um, paperwork for the lawsuit and mm -hmm. pointed out specific things and said, you know, everybody thinks this is a really ridiculous lawsuit. But it's even more ridiculous when you actually read it. <laughs> so he sort of like pointed out a bunch of things and it was really interesting. And then, um, so I'll repost it so everyone can look at it. But then um, one of the first comments after uh, the thread ended was, um, I wonder if anyone is going to tell this guy who's suing Mariah about the 1963 song that's also called All I Want oh. for Christmas is You. There's another one? <laughs> oh, apparently there's more than <laughs> one. And he put a link to it um, on the YouTube or something. So there's more than one All I Want for Christmas is You. There's more than two All I Want for Christmas is You. There's three at least. So right. you know what I mean? It's ridiculous. And also, All I Want for Christmas is You is very, you know, before the song came out, wasn't every little kid in the 80s running around singing, all I want for Christmas is my two front teeth? Yes, it was like a little nursery rhyme. Yeah. Metal, I don't know. What do you call it? What do you call Fairy it? Fairy tale nursery rhyme. A little, a little jingle. Jingle. A little, little jingle. Bop. The kids, yeah. The kids. <laughs> that's what I was singing. For the kids. So yes. I feel like the all I want for Christmas thing, it could be for anybody. 
Right. You know, you can put what, whatever you want for Christmas is what you could do. So suing over that title is just ridiculous. Well, nonsense. I did see on Twitter a bunch of lawyers commenting along those lines, just saying, once you actually read it, it's total nonsense, it's bogus, this is stupid, pretty yeah. much. So, so I think I'm Mariah's sure... going to be fine. Oh, she's going to be absolutely fine. Absolutely It's just fine. suspicious, the timing of it all. Right. So Which close to the whole... Songwriter Hall of Fame. Yes. Right, right, right. Um, so we're going to take a quick splash break, break, but before we do, let's talk about the little video that Mariah posted on the socials. She's, uh, yes, uh, she's emerged. Yeah, she sort has of. emerged. She's still in, the, Actually, still in the butterfly lounge in the basement, but we're <laughs> yes. seeing her. <laughs> um, she didn't actually post it, but um, what was it? Um, Specs Family uh, Liquor and Wine? Yes, the they based posted out of Texas. it. Right. Yes, they posted a video of Mariah wishing them a happy anniversary. Right. So I guess they, they must help distribute the Black Irish here in America? Uh, that's what I would assume. Uh, there obviously is some sort of tie between that company mm -hmm. and, yeah, they, they're some sort of distributor, a major distributor um, for, you know, all the local grocery stores or grocery stores even across the nation. So who knows? But it's yeah. very nice of Mariah to give them a little shout out. Yeah, it was. Um, well, I don't yeah. think the Black Irish is coming from Ireland and then it's in the garage at Mariah's house. She's mailing it out to the shops. <laughs> I think there's a distribution distribution company handling all that. Yes. Well, it must be uh, Specs over here doing, doing yes. all that part of the job. So um, we're grateful for them to be putting it in our local grocery stores. But um, let's talk about Mariah and what she was serving in this video. Mm -hmm. It looked very um, good. She was serving everything. Yes. Big hair. The dog is on the lap. The big hair. Okay, let's Face talk about... looks moisturized and good. Uh, Glowy. Perfection. Perfection. Yeah. Her voice sounded great. Yes. Very clear, crisp, all of that. Yes. Even on the Twitter space we're going to talk about soon, it sounded really good. Yes, absolutely. So here we are having Mariah in front of our face again, because again... It's been a minute since we've seen her. I guess the last time was that Instagram Live. And now that, you know, it's like, okay, everybody's good. Mariah's here. She's with us. So mm -hmm. I was glad that we got that little glimpse of her. Yes, likewise. Yeah, However, absolutely. we need more, more Mariah. Yes, and more curly Mariah as well, because she was serving like big curls, good curls, luscious curls. I love the curls. Mm -hmm. The curls are good. <laughs> Let's go to our splash break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back from the splash break. Uh, thanks for all the Patreon supporters, by the way. They really do help the show out on our yes. end. And also, if you want to help the show out for free, please just hit follow on your podcast app or leave a review on Apple Podcasts. That's another way you can, you know, help us grow. Yeah, and don't forget, we're on the TikTok now. And we're on TikTok. Yes, <laughs> we are over there on the TikTok. Do not forget, you can find us there because that's where it's all going down. Yeah. Um, but yeah. And if you haven't, check out our social medias at The Mariah Report. We have some new artwork coming soon. So check that out. Yeah, festive things, festive things. Yeah, exactly. Stuff, there's stuff all around drop, you know, from The Mariah Report. Oh, yes, The Mariah Report. Here we are. Get into it. <laughs> All right. Okay. So last week we announced, or Mariah announced that she we was announced doing it. that right. Yeah, we announced exactly. <laughs> Girl, who are we? <laughs> um, Mariah announced that she's doing this NFT um, uh, combo experience Collabo thing. Yeah. I guess you know where you'll you'll fly with her to the Songwriter Hall of Fame uh, ceremony and all of that, and it sounds fabulous and amazing. And you get now, to go on the plane. You get to go on the, the plane. Private jet. You get to, yes, you get to sit at her table at the ceremony, all that kind of good stuff. We love mm -hmm. that. And we're going to talk about the Twitter space in a minute. But last week, we were just trying to um, figure out what an NFT is. WTF is an NFT. WTF? Yeah. W oh, that's the question. <laughs> <laughs> that's my question. <laughs> that's a good what question. Is it? That is a good question. Okay, so one of our listeners, Jade Matthews, wrote in with an explanation for us. Okay, you ready? Right. I don't know if it's going to help, but we're going to do what we can with it. That's so, all we can do. So Jade says, hello, Dan and Martin. I was listening to your latest episode of The Mariah Report, 
and I'm here to help. Okay. NFT is an abbreviation of the term non-fungible token. It is a financial security consisting of digital data stored in a blockchain, a form of distributed ledger. NFTs have been used to sell artwork and now music. The ownership of an NFT is recorded in the blockchain and can be transferred by the owner, allowing NFTs to be sold and traded. NFTs can be used to sell anything, artwork, music, even legacy catalogs. And in this case, a ticket to see Mariah to be inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. I truly hope this helped you guys. Thank you, Jade. Okay, well, thank you, Jade. Now, question I'm number one. All that in. Go ahead. Now I've got more questions, though. <laughs> Same. Non fungible token. Who's out here funging up tokens? Stop funging the tokens, people. You cannot do that. Apparently, you cannot do that. No. <laughs> Is that an issue in the NFT world? Have tokens people been getting doing that for a long time. <laughs> yes. And who are these people? I want to know. <laughs> and what is fungin? What is fungin? There's so many questions. <laughs> So many questions, but honestly, no. Seriously. How do you fund? How do you even fund a token? It cannot have I been funging and don't even know it? <laughs> <laughs> because I feel like when we screen grabbed the boarding pass, we funged it. Is that what funging is? <laughs> oh, it's been funged then. Because <laughs> I screen grabbed a couple. I screen grabbed the front and the back. <laughs> it's funged, funged up already. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, but okay. Now start. Can you read the first of that again? <laughs> because I don't know those words. <laughs> NFT is an abbreviation of the term non fungible token. It is a financial security consisting of digital data okay. stored in a blockchain. Okay. What the hell is a blockchain? What is that? And where do you store them? Oh my goodness. This is very this is getting more and more confusing as time goes by. <laughs> a form of distributed ledger, which I think means money, right? A form I of think money. So, because I I mean an exchange. Distribute? Well, isn't a, a form of exchange is an is an, say that again, an exchange isn't that money a form well? of distributed ledger. So I guess it's like, like imagine, okay, here's what I'm envisioning just reading this. Oh, I want to go buy a piece of artwork from Mexico. So now I have to take my US dollars, convert my US dollars into Mexican pesos, and now purchase my Mexican artwork. Does that sound like we're on the right track? Like we've got to like get money to convert it into the NFTs to now purchase Mariah's boarding pass. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe. Is that what happens? Maybe. Maybe that's where we're going with this. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But it also sounds to me a little bit like the stock market as well. Like it increases and decreases? Because I think that's what crypto does. It increases and decreases, right? Yeah, but, but dollars do that too. Like the American dollar is worth more than um, the Japanese yen and the Australian dollar. Like there's different global currencies fluctuate as well right 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 but i think cryptocurrency is like a 24 hour 24 7 type of thing whereas like you know our our standard markets are only open for certain like here in the u.s it's like monday through friday business hours true yes that's right like i don't know what that has to do with anything but i'm just saying (laughs) i don't know either okay so we're not quite there yet on what this is, but it also said you can sell um, um, what art, songs, music, legacy catalogs. Okay, well let's hope let's hope that Mariah's not going down that avenue. Don't be trying to sell me anything music related as an NFT. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> buying it. Absolutely not. No. We don't know how to buy it. That's the we end don't know of the story. How. Yes. I don't know how, and I'm not converting my money into anything to buy a Mariah album. So Mariah, we love you. Don't do it. Don't do it. We're we're just not going to do that. Okay. We just don't know how. Good on that. We don't know how. <laughs> no. And then what is the blockchain? And I'm what if I'm funging it on the blockchain and I don't even know it? <laughs> yeah. What if it's all funged up? But by the time you get it, honey, 
No. So, uh, you know, I love Mariah for doing this, but okay. So now, now, um, so it's the auction that Mariah is doing an auction and all the proceeds will go to charity. So we do love that. Yes. But it also said in that email, of, um, that, um, you can sell it, but what, so like if, if somebody bids on Mariah's thing and it's $40,000, mm-hmm you can't sell that for $40,000 because the main part of it, which is the Mariah in-person experience Mm -hmm. is no longer attached to that NFT. Correct. So that's definitely been funged up. That's funged. You cannot now go and sell that boarding pass for $40,000 or like, you know, whatever. If the GOGM coin goes up to, you know, a different number, if it in, increases and, you know, now it's worth this much or something. Yeah, yeah. You're not going to get that value back ever. Right? Which, that's, that's my assumption as well. Because why would you want to buy that from somebody? Like, you know what I mean? Why would you want to buy a boarding pass for $40,000? I just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think you... <laughs> You can't funge it. I don't know. Maybe it's funged. It's completely funged, if you ask me. One, you, once the person experiences it, it's funged. You cannot do anything else with it. Yeah, so, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know either, but it's very confusing to me, this whole thing. But Well, okay. So here's the thing. Right now, the auction, as we speak, it's up to $54,100. Oh, my God. A.K.A. Seven point one jam funges Geo jam or whatever funges. <laughs> I don't know. coins jammed bucks. Okay, this is this is very fascinating, right? All of it's fascinating, and also um, hang on. Now I have more questions. Who's got okay, fifty-four thousand yes, dollars? I got questions to spend... too. <laughs> Who is this person <laughs> with fifty-four thousand dollars? That's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, I'm. That's just very interesting to me. Right. Very interesting to me. I mean, honestly, I don't know. If I had fifty thousand dollars extra, I don't know if I don't know if I would spend it on this. I just don't know. Well, I think if you do have that extra kind of cash, because there's a charitable 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 element to it, you can just write it off on the tax. Okay, well yeah. that's true. Okay, right. right. And now you okay, can hang well, out maybe Mariah. if we can finagle it like that, then maybe, maybe. And yeah. maybe for this person, they have the private jet to go to Mariah and then get on her jet and get exactly, home safely. Exactly, because, yeah. Mm-hmm. Because <laughs> like I was saying, uh, how is the logistics of all this working out? <laughs> like, yeah. who's flying who where? <laughs> yeah. Because that uh, has to be worked out as well. Um, <clears throat> but it's all very interesting. And I hope this person, whoever wins this bid, uh, has a, an amazing experience, and I can't wait. Next weekend is going to be, uh, it's going to be amazing for us. Huge, lambs. huge event, huge event. Now, I will before we go on to the Twitter space talk. I also want to say that there's a lot of talk over here about these non fungible tokens being bad for the environment. That's a thing. I think like not only the fungible tokens i think it's also the the bitcoin the cryptocurrencies all oh yeah because they uh, cuz you have to mine them or something i now i know about mining of the bitcoin i mean i don't know personally but i've heard about it yeah okay do you want to read mi- or, or, i don't know how it works but something happens where it's not good for the environment and people are people are saying and i'm like what is this some sort of digital fracking or something it sounds like that. Okay, let me read you a blurb from Investopedia and tell me just more confusion, but okay, let's just yeah, try bring, to get through it together. All the confusion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, the way NFTs are created is highly energy intensive. Most NFTs are minted using the proof of work operating method, which uses lar- large amounts of electricity. Any energy intensive any, any energy intensive process, crypto related or otherwise can exacerbate climate change by adding to the atmosphere's carbon dioxide emissions. However, there are other ways that are more environmentally friendly, in particular methods using proof of stake. Okay. Oh, okay. So I would have never put those two things together, 
but apparently that's what's happening. Just an I, FYI for everyone. FYI. <laughs> Just an NFTs FYI. are bad for the environment. <laughs> uh, there we have it. Um, Sponging so, up the environment. Yeah. Oh, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's sponged with these things, I guess. Yeah, apparently. Uh, okay, so let's go on to Mariah's Twitter space. So GeoJam was hosting a live Twitter space with Mariah. It lasted about an hour long, maybe 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were talking, they were taking um, some uh, comments, questions from the listeners and all that kind of stuff. So it was a fun little moment. And it was great to hear Mariah speaking on these matters and things. Mm -hmm. Um, But we didn't get much information out of this. The only thing that I really really got out of it was that Mariah also has no idea what an NFT is. <laughs> That's what, that was my takeaway as well. And then she asked one of the collaborators to explain what the NFT was. And same situation as reading that email. I just had more questions. Girl, I, I'm sitting here and Mariah asked very kindly <laughs> multiple times if uh, she could explain it in like very sort of simple terms. And again, she was breaking it down each and every time. And I still was like, girl, not a single one of those words make any sense to me. And I know I'm not in the tech world, but I don't know how the people who are in the tech world, how their brain works, but mine does not work like that. So I just, I don't yes. think I'll ever get to that point. Um, but then here we have Mariah also. I think we're in the same boat. No clue. No clues. Do you have to put in your credit card number? I think so. At some I point? So. You must, right? Yeah, because you have to you have to buy the, the GeoJam token. I guess. And you have to use real dollars to buy this fake money huh. so that you can buy a piece of digital art on the blockchain. Do Still, I sound no like one... I know what I'm talking about? Yes, <laughs> but um... <laughs> the art's on the blockchain now? Yes, it's all on the blockchain. <laughs> It's all on the blockchain. Well, um, no one's been able to explain what you do with the boarding pass once you own it. Yeah, it's yet well, to be you explained. Can't do anything with it. But we know it's on the blockchain. Somewhere on, where do you plug Somewhere. the blockchain in? What do you do with the blockchain? I have no idea. Does it plug into the TV? That's what I want to know. Well, what that's do you next, do with it? Yeah, that's the next question NFT is. What do you do with it? I don't know if you do anything because I guess like they were saying in the email, you just, you hold it as a type of currency. Is that right? In a bank? But no, uh, uh, no, not the bank, the blockchain. How do you not, how do you get, pr- protect your blockchain from getting robbed? I have no idea. Maybe that's where the, you can't fungit it comes in. Non-fungible. Maybe that's why it's non, non-fungible. <laughs> <laughs> that's why that's why i got that um okay so maybe punch the... means steal <laughs> maybe <laughs> we'll have to google what that means i'll lose um <laughs> but we get mariah uh, telling us that she basically has no idea what this is either so we do that but then they take a couple of listeners and we get a couple lambs talking with mariah and stuff like that so those were great moments yes. and even her nephew sean popped in to say how proud he is of Mariah and everything like that. So it was a cute moment. Um, and um, what else What else was discussed? Okay, well, we did get some nuggets. Like she says she's in the studio working on stuff, as always. True. But we hear that all the time. So Yeah, I mean, that to me is not anything interesting. Oh, wait, I remember. She did, I think, sort of towards the top of the conversation say that she does not she's not planning on dropping anything anytime soon she has no surprise album Mm. dropping Mm -hmm. so i do think she did say that so like all these rumors that she's dropping something in the next few weeks yes because those rumors those july rumors were swelling heavily yes so i don't think we have that to look forward to um she also talked a lot about black irish Promoting the Black Irish, yes. Yes. Uh, a shameless plug, and I'm not mad about it. Um, but I also love that she was shouting out the salt to caramel. Yes, that's the one. Star of the that's show. That's the one. That's my girl. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so I'm forgetting the person's name. I think it was Amber, maybe Australian woman who also lives in America. Oh yes, yes. Did a great job and brought up Prince. Yes. There we go. There it we was go. Prince's birthday, and so Mariah mm-hmm. mentioned that she wanted to record "Nasty Girl" for Glitter. Yes, that was a good nugget of information that came out that's a good nugget of information also the whole story about her going over to paisley park and then even sean brought up that they went to an after party with Mm -hmm. prince once after the grammys Mm -hmm. and that was an amazing moment and i mean mariah did go into the whole prince talk because she was saying that they were working on things together Mm -hmm. and um he said that um he loved her song, Honey. Uh-huh. Yes. We loved Honey, too. Well, we knew that. Oh, we knew that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so someone, I think I think the person speaking, uh, it might be Amber. Did you catch that person's name? I'm forgetting what I it was. I think it was Amber, yes. But she mentioned the beautiful ones, and I feel like Mariah's reaction to it is like, huh, like she's not into it. I think she's only not into it after hearing what Prince was saying about covering people's songs. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because she was saying that Prince said, you know, and that's one of the reasons why they didn't do Nasty Girls or whatever, because he's like, oh, well, that's their song. Mm-hmm. That You know, that's over there. And I don't think he was a big fan of just, you know, covering songs in general. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it is what it is. And Mariah, I think Mariah did a great job. So I'm not mad no, about it. No, I love it. Beautiful Ones. Love Beautiful Ones. Absolutely. Uh, so that happened. She also mentioned working on the memoir TV. So I think we're getting a TV. I think it's that's pretty much confirmed. It's a TV situation. I'm okay with that. I'm absolutely with Lee okay Daniels. With that. She mentioned Lee Daniels. So I guess that's yeah. official. It's happening. It's in the works. It's in the mm-hmm. works. I mean, it's very likely that she could be working on all of that in all this time where we think we're getting a new album. She's actually working on the you know the TV show. Yes, exactly. So, I see now. We'll I think I'm see. okay. Yeah, I think I'm okay with maybe like you know a season per chapter, and then each chapter gets like six episodes. Oh, that's a lot of episodes, but absolutely. <laughs> well, in my mind, they're like thirty minutes to forty minutes. They they fluctuate. Okay, these okay. episodes. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, hey, in this digital streaming world, you can make your episode however long you want. Exactly. Just get the story told. Yeah. Exact and tell everything, tell all mm-hmm. the story. So yes. we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully, we'll get more information from Mariah about what she's up to in the coming weeks. You know, she's going to make her first public appearance in over two years, mm-hmm. and um, she's going to give us an amazing speech at the Songwriter Hall of Fame. Cannot wait. I cannot wait. I'm sure there's going to be tons of press there, so she's going to be answering a lot of questions. Of course, do we even know assume. how to watch this event? How are we gonna? How are we gonna find out what's going on? Well, um, I don't think you can watch it. No, there must be a streaming service or something for it. Oh, they might. I mean, we'll have to look into it. But I don't believe it's not like televised. They might have something online. Let's investigate. We'll have to investigate and see. They might just, you know, put um, put clips up on YouTube or something like that because they definitely. I don't think they stream the whole thing. Mm. That's why the tickets are so expensive for the tables. Yes, yes. So they they will probably put up something, but you won't get the whole thing. It's not that's not going to happen. Hmm. So we're just going to have to have some insider sources. Yeah. Um, well, guys, tell us what you liked about Mariah's Twitter space. What you found interesting in your theories and um, NFT moments, I guess. Yeah, please. Here's what I want to know: Has anybody actually bought an NFT of our any one of our listeners? Have you brought one, and then what do you do with it once you own it? Yeah, tell us everything. We want to know. Really? Hit us up at the Mariah Report on Twitter, yeah. Instagram, TikTok now. All of, all of the above. We're on, we're on all the social platforms, even yeah. the YouTube. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I don't know. Is that it? Do we have more, any more? I think that's it for this week. Yeah, I think so. All yeah, right, guys. Next, next week is going to be the big week. So we're looking forward to hearing all about what happens at the Songwriter Hall of Fame. Yeah, that's right. Stay tuned. Uh, again, make sure you hit follow on your podcast app. Share this with your friends. That's still the number one way that we grow. When you guys share it with someone, um, we see you know growth happen. And we need that. You know, Get the word out. All of that, yes. 
Uh, don't forget, join us at Patreon as well. You get some pre-show moments now. We've been doing pre-shows instead of after shows, but you know, we mix it up here and there. So hit us up, www.patreon.com slash the Mariah Report. And we'll see you guys soon. Bye. The Mariah Report is produced and edited by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Hosted by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Graphics created by Sean Mark. Theme music created by e Reezy Beat. Thank you to the listeners who support the show on Patreon. If you'd like to show your support or for more information, visit the show notes in your podcast app.